fuego, no jugo a ruegos Habla español, pero pequeño me pele Es negro, que son muchos negros Pero negros, de más el dinero El peso de enero, el peso de enero El peso de enero, yo hey. quiero El peso de enero, let me stop now You know I'm international, I only okay. speak Spanish When I feel it's rational, okay. pass you the gas Cause I'm trying to get you up now Hey guys, it's Jericho. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a New Year's Eve glam makeup look. At least I would consider this to be glam. So I hope you guys enjoy this look. It's really easy using the Jackie Anna palette. So the first thing I'm going to do is go in with the, con the white concealer that I always tell you guys about from Makeup Revolution, color C2. And use my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush to blend this out because this brush just makes the concealer just nice and flat and perfect and i don't i don't know it just works so much better than using my beauty blender so i use this to blend out the concealer which helped my colors pop a little bit more and then i'm going in with the jackie Anna palette and y'all i really don't remember the name of these colors but i'm going in with that light brown shade and i kind of went into my urban decay born to run palette as well but i just used the light brown shade I think it's called ginger yeah ginger so I use ginger and a little bit of a light brown shade for my born to run palette just because I wanted to I wanted it to be an orangey effect and it didn't work out that way so then you're gonna see me going in with the dark brown shade which is called credit you know I, I thought this was dark brown but the more I looked at it later it looked dark purple so I'm putting this on and then blending it so that there is no harsh lines I did my eyeshadow backward this time if you guys didn't notice As you can see, it's perfectly blended and it just looks so good. Then you're gonna see me put it on my lid and look up because I have hooded lids. So if you do this, this is a good trick for you to know where to, like how high to cut your crease so that it's not being um, like covered up from your lid. One of my eyes is more hooded than the other. The one I'm working on is more hooded than the other eye. You can clearly see that little flap of skin that I'm putting the concealer on I really hate that one of my eyes is hooded and one isn't but I guess it's better than having two hooded lids I'm not sure but it's really irritating and for the longest time I always wondered why my cut creases were not coming out right and I hear a lot of beginner people you know saying the same thing like why can't why do my cut creases not come out right it's because you have hooded lids and you're not cutting it high enough so make sure you cut your crease higher then you're going to see me go in with my flawless concealer brush again and flatten this concealer out just to make sure it's perfectly blended. And I'm going to go back in with that dark brown shade on the outer corners just to make this blend out and bring that color more inward, if that makes sense. It's really simple and easy to do, but I love this part of the eye look. So when you bring the last shade over your eyelid a little bit more, it just looks so good and flawless. And it's just so exciting. Then I'm going to go in with my Juvia's Place highlighter. I think this is the Nefertiti highlighter. Um, you know, instead of using it as a highlighter on my face, I just decided to use it as a pigment to go on my eyeshadow because, I mean, go on my eyes as eyeshadow because it's so pretty and like foily looking and it's just the perfect amount of glitter and it's just so pretty. And I know I've never ever used this as much, you know, to hit the pan. So I'm like, you know what, let me use it as eyeshadow because... It's just such a pretty color. Like when I swatched it at Ulta, I was like, oh my God, I have to have this because it's just so pretty. Like, <laughs> it just look at it. Like, like it's, it's like buying a really good pigment, you know, just use a loose highlighter instead. So I love it. It's a lot of product. So you just put it on your eyes and it just looks so good. The next shade you're going to see me going with is Zam in the palette and I'm putting it on here sideways because that's the best way to get the best color payoff without using your finger. So I put that on to kind of mix in between the brown and that highlighter that I just put down. And then you're going to see me go back in with that brown shade in the palette called Credit to kind of blend the edges and bring everything together. And it just looks so good. 
then I'm gonna apply my liner and lashes off camera because it takes me forever. So for my foundation, it's really weird. Like I started off with the Juvia's Place foundation and then I realized that I shouldn't have done that. So then I went in with my Fenty Beauty hydrating formula, uh, hydrating foundation and the matte foundation mixed together, which you guys see me do in some of my previous video that I have filmed about. And then it was okay, but I'm like, you know what? Let me just use the Fenty because I should have used the Fenty to begin with and I had messed up and used the Juvia's Place. So you can't really tell that like, they don't have it on two different foundations on my face, but you know, I made it work as best as I could, but I ended up having like three layers of foundation on one side of my face. And then on the other side, I just had the Fenty foundation. So it looks, it felt really weird, but I'm like, you know what? I am not wiping this off. I don't have any makeup wipes. So this is just going to have to do, but luckily you couldn't tell the difference. Then you're going to see me going with the Too Faced Born this well first I, before I do that I'm going to blend it into my hairline which I didn't want to do because I straightened my natural hair and I didn't want to have to wet it because you know when you wet your natural hair it'll curl back up but this is me blending it into the my hairline and then you're going to see me going with the Too Faced Born This Way concealer um I think this is the color mocha um I'm going to put that under my eyes down my well I didn't put it down my nose but under my eyes my forehead and my chin but then the excess that's left on my sponge, I did bring down my nose just to, you know, for when you contour later, that makes it stand out a little bit better. So I really love this concealer now. Like I, for the longest, I'm like, nope, I don't need it. Then I got it and I love it. And then I'm using the Juvia's Place Foundation Stick in Cameroon. As you can see, it didn't really show up as well because I, the foundation I used was a little too dark on that side, but it still showed up just enough to where it wasn't a harsh contour. And then I'm going to blend out the concealer after letting it sit a minute. And this this concealer is just so good. It's not drying at all. And for the longest, I was scared to try it because I thought it was going to make me shiny looking. But, you know, you set your face anyway with powder. So it just sets so well. It doesn't make my eyes dry out. Not that the matte ones did, but it just looks so good and flawless. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Then you're going to see me go in with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and set my entire face so i'm going to set the you're going to see me set the areas that i put my highlighter and i'm also going to set all over my face with a big fluffy brush later i'm going to use it everywhere because i want to make sure that my face does not get oily and i want to make sure that my makeup stays on because i was doing this look to go out after for date night so you know i wanted to make sure that my makeup stayed flawless and matte because i love matte looks then this is the part I was telling you about where I'm dusting that setting powder all over my face just to set everything. And it looks so smooth at this point. Like, I love the way it looks. I love a matte face. Then I'm kind of fixing my eyebrows because they got sweeped, swept away a little bit in the front. So I added a little bit more. And then I'm going to go with my Fenty Beauty bronzer and Coco Naughty. And for some reason, I didn't film myself applying my highlighter, but I used my Morphe Mirage, Mirage highlighter. And for my lips, all I did was just you put on lip gloss later. Like I didn't do anything special because I knew I was finna go eat. But that is really pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. And this brush is the blush brush from Real Techniques. It's such a great brush. Like, I don't know. I just love how soft it is. But this is the finished look, you guys. So I hope you guys like it. And I hope you can follow along and do it yourself. And I hope you guys thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And thank you to all my OG subscribers who come back and watch my videos. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video.